first thing, let's talk about the signal lights. What is the purpose of signaling in a traffic circle? First of all, signals is a method of communication uh, between drivers. Okay, in uh, the traffic circle is also critical to use the signal lights, so that way the other drivers attempting to enter the circle or inside the circle know what you're doing next. Now, let's pretend we're going out on the first exit of the traffic circle. We should be signaling right because we're going to go in and out. If you go in more than one exit, for example, second, third, fourth, fifth exit, you should put your left signal on because you're going to be staying inside the traffic circle longer. By having your left signal on, it indicates to other drivers that you're going to be staying in, inside the traffic circle and that makes possible for other drivers to enter the traffic circle without interfering with you. And that's why it's recommended to use your left signal if you go more than one exit. Um, now, since there's two lanes in a traffic circle, which lane should we take? If we're going out on the first exit, the, the, uh, the lane to take is the right lane because it's just like a right turn. So you move to the right lane and you enter the traffic circle and exit the traffic circle in the right lane. When you go in more than one exit, the recommended lane is the left lane or the inside lane. And you put your left signal on before you enter the traffic circle and you stay in the left lane until you're ready to exit. It could be the second, third, fourth, fifth exit. Once you're ready to exit, you would indicate to the right, letting other drivers know your intentions. So you're indicating that you're exiting at the next available exit. Now, it's not illegal to go more than one exit in the right lane it's just not efficient and it could be a little bit dangerous also if you're in the right lane and you go on more than one exit you need to be prepared to yield to the traffic in the left lane that is tempting to exit the traffic circle okay sounds good so let's do it okay so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna we're gonna do a traffic circle all right so we're gonna go out on the second exit of the traffic circle so we should be changing lanes to the left lane. So we want to prepare ahead of time. Uh, we don't want to wait until the last second to change lanes. Okay, so we are approaching the traffic circle. As you can see, we have a yield sign. That means we have to yield to the traffic that's already inside the traffic circle. So we need to be ready to stop. Make sure you center yourself in your lane and then um, stop if necessary. And it looks like it's uh, free now so we can go in the traffic circle. Keep your left signal on, and this will be the first exit. Now it's the second one coming up. Put your right signal on, shoulder check to the right to make sure nobody's cutting you off, and you exit. And that's it for the uh, for the second exit in the traffic circle. The rest of the exits are pretty well the same thing. It's just you go a little bit further. But you put your left signal on when you enter. You put your right signal on when you exit and you keep the same lane. So you enter in the left lane, you exit in the left lane. You do not, do not change lanes inside the roundabout or traffic circle. Yeah. So we have a traffic circle coming up. Uh, we're gonna go out on the first exit. So we need to be in the right-hand lane and we are in right now. We need to put a right signal on. We need to yield to the traffic that's already inside the traffic circle. And uh, we stop at a point where we can actually see if we can go it looks good and then we're gonna go in and out so we enter and exit right away and we always stay in the same in the same lane we don't want to uh, change lanes in the traffic